Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. And uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the new app size analyzer tool which we get with Flutter Dev Tools uh, with Flutter 2.0. Uh, right now what I have is a very very simple application which you get like this is a uh, the first application which you get when you run flutter create so this is just a counter application and uh, we will see how we can uh, use this tool to which can help us uh, you know in finding out uh, what what uh, exactly uh, is the size of our application and how things are combined together so how we will do that so uh, the first thing which you have to do is you have to go to your terminal and uh, for example this app is size test app uh, we will also see some of the uh, like uh, packages uh, like when we include a package what happens with the size of the application if it is different or not and if we use those packages inside of our project then what happens so all of these scenarios we will test in this particular video and also we will try to see that uh, you know what are the things which are there in the tool itself so first thing which you have to do if you want to analyze your application so you have to uh, let's say for android we just say flutter build apk or we say so this is this is what we write right or we say flutter build ios mac os windows all these things so you have to use the same command at the end you have to also write analyze uh, size so dash dash analyze dash size and once you enter it, this time it will give me a, an error because I am trying to build an APK and APK will have multiple ABIs. So that's why this error comes. So I have to specify which target I am uh, like talking about here. So I'll just uh, use the same command. But after that, I'll just say target uh, platform is equal to. Uh, so let's say, for example, I want to target Android ARM64. So I'll just uh, use that and then it will take some time and it will it will create a json file for me and i'll show you that json file as well and there is a folder called flutter dev tools which is a hidden folder uh, which is there inside your computer uh, that's where it will store that json file and you can use that file uh, how you will use it so you have to open the dev tools okay so for example if you're using visual studio code you can just say command shift p and uh, you can just say open dev tools uh, so once you click on that, you can see we have two dev tools here. One is old. So it will ask you either to connect to a running app or now you will see another option on the bottom app size tooling. So basically your app does not need to be, you know, running at the same time if you want to test uh, the app size tool. So basically you can use app size tool without your app running. So that's, that's what we have. And if we click here. Then we can see that it is asking me either to uh, drag and drop some file here or I can choose some file and then I can analyze the size. Now here you can see we have got uh, APK analysis can be found. You can see we got this uh, analysis first of all that uh, our app release total compressed size is 5.5 MB. Uh, okay 5.5 MB is the total size. Uh, if you see the total compressed one is 5 MB and then we have some uh, resources 1 KB 5 MB is the ARM 64 version 8 and then AOT symbols uh, decompressed size is also like in terms of package. Now uh, this is the file which I was talking about. So if we open it you will see that it has a JSON kind of a structure where we have nothing but a tree. A tree kind of a structure where we have a lot of values and it's very difficult to understand this if you will try to uh, look into this way right so uh, going back to terminal uh, we also get that um, you can run this following command and it will open this uh, JSON file directly inside your dev tools or what we can do we can click over here and this is the file uh, which it generated with 0 1 at the end so because this is the first analysis file I have created so all the analysis file will go down to this folder and now what I'm gonna do I will just drag and drop it here and then I'll say analyze size and now you can see the total size this time it is saying is 7.4 MB which you will see right and uh, it also gives you time and everything so uh, then uh, basically now what we see is root here so this is a basically another tree map I would say where first thing is root where it's a 7 MB and then we have more things here let's say for example if you click this part here 
then if I click here then you can see we have assets which is again 186 KB and assets have two things packages and notices so let's say for example I click packages then you can see this uh, tree map which is going like this in this hierarchy and now assets have basically this Cupertino icons which is taking 121 KB uh, so this is this is what uh, you you can see if you click further inside then you will see this Cupertino icons dot TTF file is there which is uh, taking 121 kilobytes so uh, this is basically one way of uh, you know checking that what are the assets and everything now I'll go back to root and this time we will focus here on library or class this is another tree where if you will click on root you will see lib folder assets uh, where we have flutter assets classes dot dex resources and everything which we saw in the terminal as well apart from that we have two more things here one is the dominator tree and one is the show call graph basically dominator tree is for one to many relationship and uh, you use uh, call graph when you have to check dependencies in uh, many to many relationship for example if I click here I can choose any of these let's say for example this package so it will give me from root and all these packages directly which are dependent uh, so yeah you can do that now uh, there is another tab here which is difference okay so diff so if you see diff uh, you can basically uh, use two different files here uh, like the JSON files and you can analyze both of them and the difference between them so we have right now one file only we will add one dependency uh, in our project and we will check if that changes anything here so to do that what I am going to do uh, so this is basically another uh, like if you go to uh, dominator tree you can see all the dependencies here for example if you have a package A which is dependent on B and C which is um, B and C is dependent on D so you it will show that A has B C D three of them but same thing will not uh, will be happening with call graph because the dependencies are many to many so this is this is a similar example what you will see so um, this is done uh, now yeah let's go back and there's a setting icon as well where you can just uh, say enable analytics uh, developer mode or dark theme uh, okay now what we will do uh, we will go back here we will go to our pubspec.yml file and here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add another dependency which is for velocity x for example this is my package <clears throat> so you can see we have velocity x 2.6.0 I have added the package now what I'll do without writing any single line of code okay I'm just adding the package and let's see if it changes our app anyhow so I'll run the same command again flutter build apk analyze size and this time when it will generate the json for me I'll just check it with the first json which we got and we will see if adding a dependency in pubspec.yml changes anything because we are still not using that dependency like I added velocity x but I'm not using it right now in my project so does it make any any problem and if it adds some size to it then what is that size so this time you can see it added analysis underscore zero two dot json which is again if I'll go back to the same folder I'll probably find it so let's say if this is the file and let me reveal in finder so yeah this is the second file now I'll go to difference tab and uh, here I will uh, select first file here and the second file here on the second side and then we will click on analyze difference and then you can see there is only one difference that the notices file has some additional uh, data now of uh, 0 0.4 KB which uh, which is nothing basically so so technically it is this notices file have just one more dependencies added nothing else so by code we have nothing okay like there is no difference in terms of code but only notices have some additional dependency uh, probably in the license file so that's that's what we can see here and apart from that you can see there is no such difference nothing at all so what it means is that when you run your flutter application in release mode uh, it adding dependencies but without using it uh, like tree shaking being performed it does not use anything of your package but but what if you 
add a dependency which is again of a big size but you don't use the entire package itself uh, but then how it will affect your application so now what we will do uh, we will go back to our code but this time we will use the library okay so we will say import uh, velocity x and we will see how much size difference we get okay so velocity x this time i'm using and rather than saying that this text is blah 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 i'll just remove this text but rather i'll use the velocity x uh, uh, way of writing it dot make for example and now this is a velocity x project we are using velocity x is one in one of the files and uh, because we know tree shaking uh, like being performed by uh, our compiler so we have to see if that is uh, anyhow reducing the size or size remains the same or what happens so I'll run this tool another time like the last time third time and then we will see the difference between the first and the third or between the second or the third whatever you want to see uh, but uh, I guess both of them will have similar kind of um, similar kind of uh, situation because in first and second we have just one minor difference which is uh, the dependency has been added to notices file uh, now um, so this can take some time and similarly as I told you in the beginning you can run it for iOS as well for app bundle as well and uh, for Windows Linux whatever you want to use Mac OS okay now we got uh, this another file and uh, this time we can open it and uh, now uh, let's reveal in finder again and this time what we will do uh, for difference uh, this is saying combined increase only we have option decrease only and uh, these two files has been decreased oh okay so let's clear them and uh, now we will add uh, first of all 2.json here and the second one will be 3.json and this time let's analyze it and this time we can see that what kind of differences are here so there is like the library can be uh, if you will see combined let's use combined library can be of uh, like good number of size but because of tree shaking it is just 20 kb okay so the difference is 20 kb a lot of people ask me when we add packages is it's gonna like increase our size app size like hell so no that's not going to happen so what is basically happening you can see one is package flutter which is uh, like where we have some changes over here like uh, because we removed one uh, line and we did something there uh, another thing is basically if we go back to root so velocity x has some more dependencies for example auto size text pk and uh, so velocity x is of right now as of now of 2kb uh, in terms of it has some flutter code it has some string extension which we are using so what you will see is that the this, this dependence dependencies are those only which we are using so if i go back to my code you can see i am using this string uh, extension dot text and then i'm using dot make to uh, use a widget so basically it is saying that okay you have a flutter dependency you have this extension slash string extension dot dot which is it which it is using and you are using one byte string which is fine and so if size of this string is very very large or some app uh, image size is very very large then you will get to know you know what's what's wrong is happening with your application so uh, this is a really good tool and there is some uh, okay this is fine uh, let's see what else we have so looks like it's a it's a decent kind of like there are so many things which you can see and a uh, lot of things which you can judge you can see the sizes of different things and so basically if we go back in analysis and this time if i just add uh, the third one which is the three dot json file so i'll just add it here analyze it and we can see the size is almost the same 7.4 mb nothing changed uh, but this time if I go to uh, the dependencies uh, let's see if we find anything here we won't find anything we have a lib.so folder for sure and let's see if anything else no there's, there's nothing else which we got so you can see what we have is arm um, 64 version 8.0 if you go inside it you will see that we have libflutter.so flutter engine which is a 4 MB 
then flutter package uh, which you use for uh, material design and everything is 1.7 mb dart core is uh, itself 307 then we have lot of other things uh, timer isolates uh, you can even see yeah you, you can definitely see isolates here so please check it out as well um, then source if we go then you can see we have widgets taking uh, 546 kb material library taking 262 kbs rendering is 257 and all these things so i mean there is a lot of detail you can also go inside uh, uh, this dominated tree if you want to see how the size thing has been done and even you can go here on the library or class you can further uh, explore that what what kind of things they are taking and what is exactly happening so this is the brief overview of this analyzer tool and uh, how it works and uh, it's a really nice thing to try and uh, you can see the difference between two different uh, apks which you have generated and what changed and if your apk like let's say if your app performance was good in one build but it got affected in second build then you can combine them using this difference tool and uh, you can see the differences if m there might be one image which is causing that issue there might be one uh, text which is causing that issue or some isolate related issue all of those things you can see here and maybe if you want i can make a little bit more complicated project video based on the same tool so let me know in the comments and i hope you enjoyed this video if it was useful for you if it was informational then please like uh, like the video press the bell icon to get future updates and subscribe to the channel thanks and i'll see in the next one